Hello Scorpio! Welcome to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now Scorpios, what we do this month here, um, we will divide your reading into areas to make it a bit easier to understand and to follow it all. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of February 2023 for the sign of Scorpio before we then move into your emotional core, which means um, we see if there's any healing that needs to happen, um, <coughs> maybe how you attract uh, uh, relationships um, and, um, and you know, all, all the love stuff. <laughs> um, if the guys or the guides so choose to talk about that. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. So that's sort of the angle that we're looking at here. You ready, Scorpions? Here we go. So the first thing the guides are saying to you is, oh, and, and, oh this is interesting because um, normally I get sort of one <coughs> message, uh, if that makes sense, per sign or per topic. And you have two. <laughs> so you have Venus, beloved, and you have Descendant, Invitation. So let's look at these guys. So point is, with the overall energy for your sign, everything works much better when you know yourself worse, when you know that the universe loves you, when you know that people and situations have to deserve you, things get much easier once you understand that what you should be doing at all times, and maybe not just in February, but this month obviously it comes up as a topic, is to demand that people treat you with kindness, right? Provided you treat them with kindness yourself. Really, really important because you have the descendant. So the descendant is, is sort of, so you have, you have the ascendant, right? The ascendant is your rising sign. And the descendant is the little helper of the rising sign. And the rising sign sort of acts like your best buddy, always there to help you, but also there to push you a little when you need to look at things. And now the descendant sits a bit in the background and just pushes the ascendant to push you. <laughs> so in short, what is happening in February 2023 that claiming um, for people and situations to pay attention to you um, might not always come naturally, right? Because you have the descendant, which means you need to push the ascendant into making you look at things. Um, so that's, that's sort of what I'm getting. Um, so just be aware that everything starts and falls with you understanding that you are an integral part of the universe, you are a, a good person, and um, you ought to be treated accordingly. Okay, so that was your overall energy for the month of February 2023 for the sign of Scorpio. And now <clears throat> let's look at your uh, emotional core and see what we got for there. Now, yay. <laughs> you have the term partnership. So you have Juno, right? Partnership. What that entails as an energy is understanding that you only should carry into your now and in your tomorrow what really works. So what you're being asked to do is rather than making big changes is to reflect on them before you make them. Because you have partnerships, so it's all about, you know, if you are, should you be in a, in, a, in a partnership? Where are we in the scheme of things, right? Are we doing good? Is there anything that needs to be um, that needs to be looked at, right? And conversely, if you're not in a relationship but uh, you're open for a new one, you know, you will only attract what you give out. So if you're still heartbroken or you still don't haven't for for, for um, well, forgiveness is probably the wrong word, but but settled with whatever happened in the old relationship, whoever the next person is must trigger what hasn't been released, right? So that's why we always attract the same type of person, if that makes sense. So the point here is, is to look at partnership and if you felt you want this to work, make it work. Now the interesting thing here that all these cards that I have um, are numbered. And that's just because 
they obviously correspond to a little booklet. But there's no coincidence, and that means that numbers by default carry energy. And the number 31, 3 and 4 is 3 and 1 is 4. Now 4 is the number of endings. That does not mean that, that your relationship must end. But uh, in, 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 a many, in a lot of Eastern cultures, like in Japan, you, you wouldn't find um, a hotel with a fourth floor, right? because four is the number of deaths. But it literally denotes here for your very sign in that energy of, of your love life is look at and reflect on your relationships and then put to rest what isn't working. So this is about putting the work into your relationship and maybe having a proper conversation with whoever the other person is, the other significant other is in your life. Okay, so that's that. Now finally, we're looking at your um, opportunities or at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of February 2023 for the sign of Scorpios. And it is it's not straightforward. Let's put it this way. You have mystery here. As your energy right and you also have the eighth house now the eighth house funnily enough is uh, about lust uh, to a large extent so while we look at opportunities that has to do with sustaining yourself if you could go there and you feel like oh my god I have a really sexy job here it is a joy to go there and I feel great and empowered that is what you should be chasing this month because mystery means you know, you have no idea what's out there if you always ever stay in your lane, right? So this is a bit of a proactive month for Scorpios this month, but it's also in your nature to be proactive. The issue that we're having as an imprint with Scorpio is that you are the sign of all the signs that we have in our zodiac wheel, is that you are the one that has the biggest fight or flight response to situations and there sometimes therefore you're not giving it enough time you say well if that isn't working you know piss off <laughs> right so that is your job to look at all of this this month i hope that helped thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share and like i said if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas and i see you all next month Bye bye